around today. This is someone who's reached across the aisle to get things done. Are you concerned about the future? Any comments on your future? Yes. Yes, sorry, you were inside. Oh, okay. He announced yes. today that he's stepping down as chief. Ah, um, let's see. You, you've got to give me some time to gather my thoughts on that. I have a lot of feelings about uh, Mitch McConnell from the second impeachment trial because uh, I felt that uh, he was appalled by what Donald Trump had done. He knew the truth about what Donald Trump had done, uh, and yet he couldn't bring himself to vote to convict along with seven other Republican colleagues who joined all the Democrats. He got up and he made a speech where he said that Donald Trump was actually and morally culpable for everything that had taken place, but the Senate lacked jurisdiction to try someone who had left office. That was a legal question that we had dealt with on the very first day of the trial, and we dismissed that legal claim. So he went back to a legal question that had already been settled, and that's why I feel like the um, 57 to 43 vote, although it was a majority, we didn't hit the two-thirds constitutional threshold, that that constituted a, a massive piece of jury nullification because they went back to a question of law that we had already settled. So I was disappointed there with Mitch McConnell, but I understand he's been in a tough situation with Donald Trump taking over his party, and I think he's, he's tried to do what he can, but he didn't show the ultimate courage, which would have been to vote to convict and to find enough other senators so that we wouldn't be back in this nightmare again with Donald Trump.